تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور Have they not seen birds above them, spreading and closing their wings, with none holding them except the Merciful One? He oversees everything. That is, each bird that flies in the air does so in the protection of the All-Merciful Allah. He is the one who has given to each bird the form and structure by which it became able to fly. He is the one who has taught each bird the method to fly. He is the one who has made the air obey the laws by which it became possible for the heavier than air bodies to fly in it. And he is the one who upholds every bird in the air. Otherwise, the moment Allah withdraws his protection from it, it drops to the ground. And this is not confined to birds only, but whatever exists in the world exists because of Allah's keeping and guardianship. He alone provides the means required for the existence of everything and He alone provides every being with the necessities of life. If He is the one who sustains and protects all His creation, then only He has the right to be worshipped, obeyed and revered. Now who is there to become a force for you to help you except the Rahman, the Merciful? But the disbelievers are in utter delusion. If Allah decides to punish any nation, there is no power in the world that can stop him. There is no fighting force or army of soldiers that can come to the support of the disbelievers and save them. Who shall provide for you if he withholds his sustenance? Nay, but they persist in rebellion and aversion. The sustenance Allah grants them by sending down rain from the clouds and by growing vegetation in the earth is not their personal property. It's a gift, a bounty from Allah. If He wills, He can withhold it. Then tell me whether the one who walks falling down on his face is better guided or the one who walks on a straight path. Some individuals accept everything at face value without investigating. This type of person is like an animal which goes ahead with its head down, towing a fixed line. On the other hand, a person who investigates whatever he hears who tries to understand more accurately whatever he sees and who discovers the truth is the one who straightens himself up and walks on a straight path. The qualities of hearing, observation and sensitivity have been given to man so that he may recognize the truth and not be as ignorant or unaware as a blind or deaf person. Say he is the one who has originated you and made for you the ears and the eyes and the hearts. How little you pay gratitude. Allah has blessed you with knowledge and intelligence through sight and hearing so that you may recognize the truth, the science which has reached you through the last revelation, Al-Quran, and the science scattered around you in this universe testifying to Allah's existence, His oneness and power, witnessing that the system of the universe is not godless, nor is being run by many gods simultaneously. Use your sight, your hearing, and your intellect. Seek the guidance and then bow before him and obey him instead of being ungrateful to him in that you are employing these faculties for every other object and to the extent of crossing the limits of obedience. Listen, understand, and reflect upon the verses of Quran, the last revelation from Allah Almighty, and recognize the sins as sins. Repent and ask forgiveness, rather than insisting upon sins in ignorance. Ignorance leads only towards hell and guidance towards eternal paradise.